How's it going guys? So I just want to do a video to let you know that um, one of the pumps, uh, the pump on the uh, RTX 3090 for the Win 3 Ultra Edition, blah blah blah, the hybrid kit that I installed here uh, in a video maybe a month and a half ago has uh, begun to fail and so I've dealt with, uh, worked with EVGA directly and they have, uh, they're going to send me a replacement and then I can swap it out and send the other one back. But uh, just thought I'd do a little quick little video on that and show you guys what it's doing and what kind of noise it's making. Um, it's still making the noise maybe a week and a half to two weeks ago and I called them at the time and they suggested that I should just take the, um, take out the, excuse me, the card and kind of just shake out like the lines a little bit. They thought that maybe there was like an air bubble trapped in there or something and to kind of shake the card and things just to make sure that there was nothing stuck. But I've tried that two or three times and I even moved the card into my, um, my secondary PC to see you know, if maybe the card was vibrating against the case or something, and it still does it. So, uh, give me a second here, and I'll show you what I'm talking about, and tell you what's going to happen. So, give me one second. If you haven't already done so, please click the like button, uh, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment below. Thanks. So here you can hear the pump. I don't know how well you can pick it up with my microphone, but I'll get pretty close to it. There's a pretty persistent buzzing, clicking, grinding sound going on. And uh, EBGA has agreed to cross ship and replace this. Uh, like I'll have to pay for the cross shipping, but then they'll reimburse me when I get this one back. But there's uh, they're including a prepaid shipping label to send back the faulty one so all I have to do is swap out the uh, defective pump on this one and then just put the shroud back over it should be good to go so that way I don't have to take it all apart and send back all the individual components it's not all tied by serial number I verified with the guy on the phone that I don't have to send them back a bunch of BS all I have to do is like I say take the pump off of this put it in the box put the new pump back on you know swap out the thermal clean off the thermal but put on the new pump, hook it back up, and make sure it's not making any noise, and send it out. If it's still making noise at that point, then I don't know if that'd be coil wine or something, some other kind of problem. But this is, like I say, after I've had this maybe a month and a half, and it's been doing this now for about a week and a half, so really about the one month mark is when the pump started to make noise. The temperatures are all still fine, uh, you know, it, it works fine as far as that goes performance of the card is still what it should be, but it is uh, having this, like to this noise. I even reverted the BIOS back to the non-overclock BIOS, and we're still having this issue with the sound. So clearly, the pump on this thing is just going to shit. I've shut the fans off completely. I even moved it from the, my other case into my NZXT case, just to see if there was some reason being in that case it was having a problem, or something was rattling against the case side or something, but it's the same thing in here, so clearly it is the pump. And it doesn't do it until like the driver kicks in. So when I moved into this case last night, it didn't make any noise. Initially, I thought, oh wow, you know, I guess it's fine. And then it started doing it again after the, the driver picked up and started amping up the pump. So like the pump was shut off while the driver was first installing. And then like I said, once the driver kicked in and the pump started moving again, I started doing the clicking. So I'll be replacing the pump on this order. This is the kit. This is the one that came with the, the pump pre-installed uh, at my other machine over yonder, as you can see, still has that 3090. So the native hybrid card is working fine and not making any rattling noises or anything. Uh, but this one, within a very short period of time, the kit that I installed on my 3090 Ultra for the Win 3 has begun to rattle and make annoying sounds. So, uh, if you're going to get uh, an upgrade kit for one of these cards, just bear in mind, there's a chance to uh, have a problem with the pump. But thanks for guys for watching. I'll keep doing videos here soon, so have a great one. Uh, maybe give the video a thumbs up, maybe subscribe. Take care.